welcome to another reaction review video with me, Nina Schofield, singer, songwriter, vocal coach, and session musician. And this is a really big request that I've had to watch this video. This is the weekend Alone Again official live performance that we're gonna watch today and just analyze and see what we like about it. And you know, it's the weekend. He definitely deserved a Grammy nomination, just saying. But we're gonna celebrate him ourselves here today and enjoy his artistry and he just blows me away every time so I'm really excited about this. Are you ready? Here we go. Love that choice of swooping synth. Kind of pushes and pulls back. The delay on his vocal. Like he's in a cage. The chord changes that he uses in his songs I find really emotive. He'll add something in that you don't necessarily expect. He doesn't just do four chords round and round and round all the time. It's here's three chords, here's three chords, here's something a little different, and then we're back again. So you just get taken somewhere slightly off center, which I always think is really a great writing technique. Together, we're alone. Mm -hmm. it begins, I guess so That's the chord change. Listen to the swell. Uh, so he's on a moving platform, I assume. He always thinks about the the way that his performances are going to look on camera. He really thinks about every single detail. And I also just noticed, looking at his eyes, he's so into every single syllable. He is just right in it. So committed. Oh, there's a little crackle effect. Bass comes out there. vocals are where you really get to hear how much his his voice can soar and I think having the right reverb and the right delay on a vocal like his elevates it to a whole nother level. I'd actually be really interested to see The Weeknd singing this song completely acoustically live, no microphones, nothing. That would be really interesting. I'd like to hear his voice in that setting. Quick vibrato. The way the bass almost feels like it's melting with his vocal. See, the music is doing that, and so is the lighting. Almost touches it. There's so many synths doing this kind of thing, moving in and out. It's like a raffle stick. Also, that whole section, he took his time with it, you know, instrumentally. We had a break, and again, it's like the form, the structure of the song isn't necessarily what you'd expect from a pop R&B song that you hear on the radio every day. Yeah, that's what I get taken with, with The weekend. So many widths. Take me down to your so the lighting's hitting with the pulsating synth. And as we've developed the music, there's that hissing sound now that's coming. 
and how I said it almost sounded like a rattlesnake earlier. To me, this sort of elevates that to a whole nother level. Up with run. technique interesting there. Woo. So straight, that delivery is so super straight. Also, we've got another elevation within the music now. Just when you think, oh, that's going to be the limit. Mm -mm, he pushes it again. a synth that's following it exactly as well so some synths go against his vocals some synths are with his vocal try saying some synths several times quickly i bet you can't mix wise he sits in it like an instrument Yeah, it's almost like a question that very final vocal rather than it being a statement it's like I don't know if I can be alone again it like he's talking to himself about it that's how much there's just slight changes in phrasing within his vocals if you listen out for them you know um, some of them are very obvious and then others you kind of have to dive into but he really thinks about every single detail that's what I take away from this performance and from every performance that I watch of the weekends he thinks about everything his vocals are fantastic and he is a true artiste. What did you guys think of that performance? Let me know in the comments box down below what do I want to watch next because I know you're going to have suggestions. <laughs> Let me know that as well. And as always, you can find me on Twitter and Instagram at Nina underscore Schofield. You can find links to my own music, to my Wizio page where I can help you out with your singing and answer any questions you may have for me with a personalised video response. Links to my Spotify playlist, Heating Hits and to my merchandise are also in the description box down below. And I'll see you again very soon. Love you. Bye.